Hi everyone, this is Netgear Nighthawk RX30 Wi-Fi router and you're watching this video because you want to set up it as a repeater. But the question is, can it be set up as a repeater? And the answer is yes and no. Uh, well, uh, this router can't work as a true repeater, meaning it can't extend your Wi-Fi signal wirelessly. However, it does support access point mode, that means you will need to connect it to your main rotor using an Ethernet cable. That said, you can still set up a seamless Wi-Fi network with a single login for all your devices, you just need to sort out the cabling. If running a cable isn't an option, it's better to look at other rotors that support repeater mode or consider getting a mesh system instead. Also, if you want to set up this rotor as an access point, make sure your main rotor is more powerful because uh, there is no point in setting up better rotor, just an access point. So your main rotor should be your best unit in your system. So to set up an access point, first of all, make sure your router is powered on and broadcasting Wi-Fi and now you need to connect it uh, to your main router. Uh, to do this, you need to use an Ethernet cable. Let's take a look at the back panel. Uh, here is the internet input. There is only one input on your Netgear router, so you need to plug the Ethernet cable into this port and the other end of this cable plug into output on your main rotor. So I have four LAN outputs over here. I can use any of them. So let's use this one. They are absolutely equal and that's uh, what we need. And if you want to create a truly seamless network, the access point needs to be within the coverage range of your uh, main rotor. Keep that in mind and let's continue on the computer. You can set up an access point only from the router's web interface, so using a computer is the preferred option. Uh, first, you need to connect your computer to the router's Wi-Fi network. To do this, take a look on the product label of your router on the bottom. Uh, here you can find your network name and password, so you need to connect using these credentials. Let's do it. Open your Wi-Fi settings. Find Netgear Network or Netgear 5G, doesn't matter. Click on connect and enter the password, then click next. And once connected, open any web browser and in the search bar type in rotorlogin.net or also you can enter the router's IP address by default it's 192.168.1.1 then hit enter and it takes you to the welcome page here you need to scroll down and find this link if you don't have a compatible mobile phone or tablet click here because you can't set up access point from the nighthawk application on this page agree to the terms and conditions here you can click on skip if you don't want to send information to netgear so let's skip this uh, and Another welcome page, just click next. It's checking the internet connection, your router is found, click next one more time. Now you are required to create an administrator password that you will use to log in to your router's web interface after the setup is completed. So create the password, you have to enter at least 10 symbols and use at least one uppercase and one lowercase letter. So uh, create password, confirm password and select two security questions from this list and give your answers. Let me just do like this in this example, uh, but you need to do uh, like like you want, like you feel. Uh, so uh, save this information somewhere in a reliable place and Click on next and let's finally create your access point network. And finally, you're suggested to change your new Wi-Fi network name and password and enable Smart Connect. It means it combines 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band into a unified network and the router intelligently selects the best connection for your devices. But let's stick with default so far um, because I will show you everything a bit later. Let's just click next at, and create a network.
now make sure you're connected to your Netgear network. So let's open Wi-Fi settings. Yes, we are connected to our network and click next. I don't want to save this password so far. Uh, this is firmware version check. If you have some uh, updates, you, you will have update option over here. So uh, click on update in this case or just click OK. So it takes you to Netgear website. Once again, make sure you're connected to your Netgear network. Open a new tab. You don't need this website so far. And once again, enter router login or default IP address. Enter your username. It's admin and enter password you've just created. And sign in as administrator. We can close this advertising. In this menu, switch to advanced tab over here and then expand advanced setup section and select rotor AP bridge mode. And here you can change your rotor's operating mode. So what is bridge mode? Bridge mode is when your rotor doesn't create any Wi-Fi network. It just receives a Wi-Fi signal from your main rotor and distributes it over uh, internet cables to your computers. Uh, TVs, gaming consoles, and so on. You can use this option in the case if some of your devices uh, don't have Wi-Fi and you need to connect them via cable. But uh, for this example, let's switch to access point mode and you have few options here. You can get IP address dynamically from existing router, which is recommended, or use fixed IP address if you need it for some reason. You can rename your device as well, but let's just save time. And also you can change uh, your Wi-Fi network name and password. So if you want to separate your access point network from your main router's network, uh, you need to use credentials that are different from your uh, main router's network. And if you want to create seamless network, just like mesh system, uh, you need to use the same network name and password as for your main router. So in this example, let's create seamless network. Uh, so apply access point mode. Now the router is rebooting. So you have to wait for a while. So the router has been rebooted and setup completed and now make sure you're connected to your access point. Open a new tab and type in rotorlogin.net. Then hit enter and it takes you back to the web interface. But this time loading will be slower. So be patient and wait for a while. As you can see now, some settings in this menu are faded because uh, from now they are managed by your main rotor and your Nighthawk rotor is just an access point without its own internet and quality of service settings. However, you still can change wireless settings uh, and adjust network name and password. So uh, as I told you, let's create a seamless network. So click on wireless. Uh, now scroll down and change this name to the same name as your main network. So my main network is named my Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. So my bands are separated because I have an older router. If your bands are connected, combined into one, I recommend you to enable smart connects. Uh, so you will use just only one network name and password instead of two for each band separately. But in my case, I have to do like this, my Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz. Now change the password to the same as from my main network. Delete the old one. Then scroll down to five gigahertz network and change this name as well. Scroll down to password and change password. And don't forget to apply changes. So uh, this window you can just ignore, click OK and wait for settings to be updated.
and now you see this error because network is seamless and your computer thinks it's connected to your main router while your access point has a different IP address so if you need to enter the Netgear router web interface now first you need to find this IP address to do this open your main router's web interface and find network map and switch to wired clients then find your RAX30 copy its IP address and paste in new tab then hit enter and here is your settings menu you can go to advanced tab switch to advanced setup select rotor ap bridge and if you need them for some reason switch back to rotor mode but before applying settings go to wireless and change your network name to different otherwise we will not have access to this menu anymore uh, even by this IP address and you will have to reset your router to factory defaults and set up from scratch. To sum it up, an access point is better than a repeater mode because it gives you more control over access and internet settings, offers higher speeds and lets you set up a separate internet channel, for example, just for your home office. That's pretty it, guys. I hope this was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button to support us. Any questions, comment below and be awesome. See you in the next videos. Bye, guys.